Hi, this is Corey with iGo Fitness. I'm here with my good friend Tanya, and we're going to show you how you can take two furniture movers and get a great core workout and get a lot of mobility throughout your chest and shoulders and also your hips. So we're going to start on the ground and show you a few exercises that are really simple but really go a long way in increasing your mobility and overall health in your shoulder and chest area. So you can pick up these furniture movers at any store, Walgreens, Home Depot, uh, pretty much any store that has hardware or home appliances, and you'll be able to find these. And the great thing about them is they slide around on the carpet, and they really help you access a little bit of the mobility in your joints that you may lose when you're at work or you're in the car and, uh, or doing some workouts that maybe don't really contribute to the full range of motion in your joints. So what we're going to start with is a nice warm-up for the thoracic spine. And we're going to try to get some rotation in the spine here. So what Tanya's going to do is we're going to start out on all fours. And she's going to take this arm here and just push through as far as she can. So we're pushing straight out here. And this is called a little slide out. So what I want to, want to really point out is that she's keeping the hips and shoulders in a straight line. And she's not letting them rotate. So the rotation is coming from up here because it's a unilateral exercise but she's also really working on stabilizing the core. So if you really want some strong abs, this is a great exercise to do that, working on a lot of anterior core stabilization, and also a little bit of shoulder strength here as you have to stabilize and slide that other arm out so you have to support it. And it might not be too easy to see on the video, but we're getting a little extension through the thoracic spine right there. She reaches out for that last little bit, and good. So really great. Feeling, feeling the burn in your abs, but you're also getting a little bit of extension up here, and that should make you feel a little bit better throughout your day. All right. It does. <laughs> so she can attest, it does. Um, next, what we're going to do is a, a slide through, so we're going to do some rotation in that area. A lot of people tend to dominate with their lower back when they rotate, and that's where a lot of lower back problems come from. So we're just going to take this arm here, push it through, and back up. Again, keeping the hips and shoulders in a straight line. So we're pushing through and coming back up. Try not to drop the hips, making sure you're pressing those abs up through the spine and just rotating throughout that upper chest area. If you're tight, this will actually feel really good. So it's not too challenging of an exercise, but it's a really great drill to increase your mobility and your range of motion. And obviously you can do this any time of the day. It might look a little funny at work, but have your coworkers try it out and I guarantee they'll feel good. It's especially helpful if you spend a lot of time on the computer, which I do at work gets a lot of tension up in the shoulders, it feels really great to release some of that stress. Exactly. So you heard it you know, right from Tanya, it's not just me just blabbing and, and telling you what's right and what's wrong. Um, and next what we're going to do is a little challenging, but it's called a pull through. So we're going to, again, be working on that core and now getting a little bit of the lower back involved as well. So a lot of times we're sitting down like this and there's a lot of flexion in the lower back, but we're going to get some extension through that here. So I'll bring the sliders out. For those of you who've done a plank, you're going to start out in a little bit of a reverse plank. So go ahead and slide down this way just a little bit. All right, so we're starting out in a reverse plank. Good. You can bring it down. Just relax. I want to point something out here. You're going to bring your wrist. You want to have those in a, in a comfortable position. So find whatever range of motion or whatever um, direction in your wrist is comfortable for you. If you find that your wrists are way back here, then that just means that there's some tightness in your shoulders you may want to address. But, you know, for this exercise, you just want to be comfortable, so make sure that you kind of adjust your hand position, to, uh, you know, so that you're not feeling any, any discomfort in the shoulder area. So now we'll be up in that reverse plank. What she's going to do is just pull her hips through her arms, keeping her butt off the ground, and then back up. So we're really working on a lot of stability in the shoulders here again, just kind of a sneaky little way to get that in. But we're getting some extension and flexion in the core area. So can you feel that in your abs? Oh, yeah. So you can feel in her abs, and definitely, the and the shoulders. Also working the lower back here, which is really great. We'll do one more, just push you a little bit. Good. Hold it there and push back up, extend all the way, squeeze the glutes at the top, and relax. So again, it's one of those exercises that doesn't look like it's really working the abs, but it is. So don't believe the hype. There's a lot of things out there that say they're going to work your abs, but they're not quite as functional. It's something very simple, just like this. All right. Oh, you know what? We forgot we the push-ups. We forgot one, one little exercise, one bonus exercise. Yes, if you know anything about me, you know I love push-ups. So, uh, I'm going to have to throw one of those in here. So, we're going to do a little slide push-up here. It's challenging, and it's fun, and it builds a lot of strength. But also, what you do, you're going to slide the arm out. And what you're doing, can you hold that there for me there? Oh, yeah. 
All right, so what you're doing with this arm here is we're getting some scapular, go ahead and bring it back in. Getting some scapular retraction, bring the shoulder blades back. Go ahead and slide it out again. So bring it back and then pushing back up. Again, hips and shoulders in a straight line. And the fact that we're moving that hand out away from the center of the body and having to pull it back in, really working on a lot of great dynamic uh, strength in the chest and shoulder area. So that one's a lot of fun and it's kind of tough, but uh, it's also, it also is functional as well. So it's not just because I love push-ups, but also because I love things to be functional and be twofold. All right, now we can move up off the floor and we're going to go into some standing exercises. So first we're going to do a reverse lunge. Sometimes we're going to go ahead and slide our foot back here. And we're going to keep that, hold that position there. We're going to keep this leg straight. So we're getting extension through the hip here. So stretch out that hip flexor, which can get tight a lot. And again, have you turn away from this leg here. We're going to really work on stretching out some of those internal rotators. And then bring it back. And good. All right. I'm using my slider. There we go. There we go. So make sure your foot is secure on the slider. And you want to descend into this very carefully because it's easy for that slider to slip out from underneath you and you can pull something. So want to avoid that. I'm going to go into it very slowly, down, back up, and good, excellent. So I want to make sure you pull all the way back up because you're going to be extending with that opposite glute. So the, the foot that's planted is going to be doing a lot of work, and excellent. Alright, so next we're going to move laterally because we're going to try to move in all three planes of motion here. So now we're going to do a little lateral lunge. And if you want to think about this as being sort of a skier on a slalom, you can definitely do that since the Winter Olympics are coming up. We're going to slide this foot out. So we're getting a nice stretch in this leg here in the internal uh, part of the leg. So we're getting some of the um, adductors and also the internal rotators. Good. But we're also working on some strength and abduction with that other leg. So we're pulling out with this leg, in with that leg. Really working on mobility. And of course, balance because it's not that easy to do anything on one leg but it's how we live our lives so we definitely want to make sure we practice those things. Last thing we're going to do is a curtsy lunge with the slider. So we're going to take the slider behind the leg and go ahead and push it out across the body. So go ahead and hold it there. I know it's a fun position to hold it. <laughs> but we're working on a lot of single leg balance with this leg here. Some internal rotation, external rotation in the hip and then go ahead and pull back. You really have to pull back with that leg. So that leg is moving in and out and back and around. Of course, it doesn't look like it's moving that much, but all those muscles are firing, getting your legs and hips to move in directions they don't often do it. Because we're usually going like this, but we're not doing a lot of backwards, a lot of side to side, but it's something that's really necessary. And this is a great way to get it. And also, a great way to work on some balance too, because you're sliding that out there, makes it just a little bit more difficult than actually stepping out and being on a firm surface like the floor. How you feeling? Pretty good. Pretty good. So it's a great, it's great exercise, great routine. You can actually do that as an entire uh, workout, or you can just throw it in at the beginning of your workout for a little bit of mobility, and uh, or you can do it on an off day if you just feel like you need to move around just a little bit. So you can really take it up, take it down, wherever you need to. But again, those sliders really a lot of fun. They fit absolutely anywhere, pocket here. You can walk down the street when people ask you where you got these amazing things, and you can let them know. And, uh, and they're super inexpensive as well. Yes, so uh, really a great exercise tool to have that you don't have to shell out a lot for. So, we'll see you next week. Keep going.